Only on two now catching serial fraudsters who try and use your identity to buy vehicles. HPD's vehicle fraud unit is so successful that law enforcement agencies from around our state are now taking notice. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota is here to break down how they're getting that job done. Andy? Chris and Laura, this is a crime that affects the dealerships, the consumer, and identity theft victims. HPD's strategy toward preventing it now serving as a model for other law enforcement agencies across the state. Marl Chan, Mishra. Bravo. That's who these men claim to be when Houston police say they tried buying vehicles from area dealerships using fake driver's licenses. One of the things that we're trying to push forward is to be able to capture the suspects before there's an actual vehicle that's taken. While 2021 had its challenges, it was a banner year for HPD's auto theft division's vehicle fraud unit. They prevented nearly $2 million worth of vehicles from being stolen through fraud by stopping 33 suspects from buying vehicles using stolen or fake identities. We're talking more than $5 million since 2018 by arresting the accused thieves on the spot. Investigators credit their success to the partnership they've built with Houston area dealerships, where they train them how to spot and identify fraud. The partnership that we've created has been able to let law enforcement and dealerships battle the same crimes so that we can get the suspects in custody. It's not only a Houston problem. Other law enforcement agencies in cities across Texas are taking notice of HPD's success and looking to the department to help them duplicate their efforts by partnering with dealerships in their areas, including the Dallas-Fort Worth area, with plans to continue training in San Antonio, Austin, the Valley, and far west Texas. It does have a trickle-down effect. Effect. Thankfully, you know, there's systems in place and, and stuff to not impact the consumer as much. But, you know, when any theft happens, it's definitely impacting more than one person. In some of the recent cases they've investigated, police are starting to see a link back to previous investigations showing the same network of people who are essentially making multiple attempts to buy at area dealerships. We are live downtown tonight. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.